Hello, welcome to part two of Spurbert. I am here with Darren Anderton. No, it is the injured Craig Mitch. Yes. Got injured playing football, to be fair. Mm. So at least you're keeping it on brand. Very nice. Uh, here's some stuff we're excited about this week. This is part two. I am excited about the fact that Ben Teke appears to be ruled out of our clash with Liverpool for ah, the weekend. It's good. It's good news. Good I mean, it would be better it? if it was, you know, storage. Storage is used to carrying one of these. Um, exactly, yeah. It would be better if it was him, but Ben Teke is still a threat. Exactly. Still big dangerous. Threat. Big looks threat. like Stormzy. In case any of you don't know who Stormzy is, very popular Grime MC. Looks like Stormzy. Yeah, Not I'm sure well that's well relevant. Well. I know about Stormzy, of course. I, I, I sort of yeah. my, my sort of thing. Oh, okay. um, yeah, I look like a Stormzy fan, don't I? You must have seen me at the old Stormzy concert. Uh, <laughs> having fun, really? m moshing, or whatever they call it these days, you kids. Yeah, yeah moshing. No wonder you're yeah. on that, mate. No wonder you're on that. Uh, so, <laughs> that's good news. They still got storage, as you say. They still got Danny yep. and stuff. Um, I don't want to sort of badmouth any of those players because then they will inevitably score against mm, us. That's how it so goes. Law. But it's still good news. When Teke's out, that minimizes their threat, which is good. That yeah. is good. Very good. Very good. Uh, also, we're excited about potential transfers. I've got to say, though, I don't know too much about these players. Uh, Moses Simon and Lauren de Poitre from Ghent are supposedly rumoured to be coming to Spurs. Mm. I don't know too much. Simon is a 20-year-old winger. Do you think we need a winger? Can we do with a winger? Uh, not really. I mean, we've signed, we need a striker. That is actually what we need. Good we don't news, have an out-and-out -out striker. De Poitre is a 26-year-old striker who just scored for Belgium against Andorra. Oh. Okay, Pretty see, I'm going to be honest, I don't know too much about the guy, but no. that Belgium squad is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. They're ranked number one in the world currently, yes, for the first time. And we are essentially becoming Belgium. Yeah, the Belgium squad. contingent. I would like a bit of Axel Witzel in our team, maybe in that'd January. That would be great. If we you know, get Hazard, that would be... I mean, yeah, right, I mean, Dres Mertens, you know. We, any one of them, we'll take any one of them. We'll take, we'll them. We'll take to Poitra, we'll take him. Um, I wouldn't mind a, a player who's proven in the Premiership, though, if we are going to get a striker. We've spent yeah. a lot of money on players who aren't proven in the Premiership in the mm. past. Up, particularly up front, yeah. who then flopped. And that is why it's good news, potentially, that the Daily Mirror say we're going to go in for Berahino again oh, yeah. in January. I mean, I am I am kind of upset with Berahino. Um, he said he would never play under Jeremy Peace ever again. Yes, he West did Brook say German. that. He did tweet and that, And within yeah. two weeks, he was back on the field. So you're not a man of your words. And at Spurs, we like men of their word. And if you haven't got your word, what have you got? You have no manhood. You need to keep your manhood. Even with a crutch, I have manhood, always. I'm a man of my word, Berahino, and see you, we don't like that over at White Hart Lane. But, but if you could come over and then be a man of your word, we may consider you. We would welcome you with open arms, Berahino. We would love to have you here and we will be very nice to you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll roll out the red carpet. The weapons will be taken from Craig Mitch yes. so that he can't smash anyone up. No wonder he's getting injured at Stormzy concerts all the time, playing yeah. football and then threatening footballers for doing tweets. What, you never tweeted anything you, you didn't stand by? Nothing like that, okay? I never would say that. I wouldn't work for someone and then come and work for them. Right, well, that Except for the sense. time I worked for Woolworths. <laughs> okay, well, and we're, we're, delving, Hill. <laughs> we're, del we're delving deep into the past of Craig Mitch. On next week's Spurverts, I'm going to be going through Craig's tweets to see if he has lived up to every claim he's ever made uh, and see if it's accurate. In fact, if you just go back through some of these videos, you'll see some of the BS this guy spouts and then goes back on. But fair enough, I get it. He's a passionate guy and we like it. This has been Spurverts Part 2. Drop a like on the video, that's his catchphrase. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and we will see you soon. Hey everybody, what's up? I am Adam Richmond, host of ITV's Barbecue Champ. You may know me from Man Vs. Food, and I am indeed Totten until I die. Welcome to Spurred On, and this is a list of my top five favorite Spurs players.